Tinney from Mini Bowl Design. Today I'm back out in the factory uh, and I was working on some uh, baking kits. I got a really big uh, response to uh, the baking video I did. I really didn't expect that because I've done a lot of baking videos in the past, but uh, maybe it's because I haven't done one for a while or maybe it's because of the way I did it using the uh, original bongo, which is the most sensible stove I've ever seen for baking. Uh, especially with an SS remote. Now, from what I got uh, for feedback from emails, I think a lot of people didn't realize that my SS remote, once you set it up, you can, it'll run for, I don't know, a couple hours uh, with no attention at all. There's no, everybody kept asking why I didn't have a clip on the hose. Well, uh, I explained to everybody that's not necessary it's set at the right level right to begin with so there's no need to regulate it one way or the other so uh, because of that it's completely trouble free you just set it up and once you get it set correctly and it's basically just uh, if you don't have the wick too tight it's just level level keep it level with the stove and, and you can bake for a couple hours or simmer uh, it's just that simple and the original bongo is the ideal stove for, for baking and simmering uh, now I cut the wick down on the one I had, this one right here, and I cut the wick right down on this one. And even then, it was it was plenty warm enough. Uh, I it was the cake was all done in about 25 minutes. Uh, you might even want to just tuck it down inside just a little bit, that much to get it uh, cool enough so you can uh, bake with it. I think that's about right if you just tuck the, tuck the wick down inside. Now some people have asked, uh, let me cut a piece of wick here. Some people have asked, uh, well if you, if you trim a wick like that, then the only, it's only, the only thing it's any good for is baking. What about if you want to use it for a primary stove or want more heat? My answer to that is pull out the wick and I would carry uh, some extra wick and in, and in these baking kits and I'm working on I think I'm going to put some of that in just coil it up and uh, slide it in there trim it the length you want it that one's way longer than it need be so you can trim it any length you want to and just carry uh, I'm going to put a couple of these in the kits so just carry a couple of them and uh, it's no big deal you don't need to goof around with simmer rings see what a lot of people don't realize about simmer rings if you look at my simmer rings, they're all relieved inside because if you put a simmer ring on and the flame's coming up through it, the simmer ring gets really hot. So if that simmer ring, once it gets really hot, is touching on the wick uh, and the alcohol is being wicked up, when it wicks up, when it hits that hot spot, it'll flare. So if you've got a simmer ring and when you put it on after it runs for like five minutes, it kind of flares up, you get way too much flame, you need to tuck your wick down so the simmer ring doesn't touch it. Especially on an M7 stove. So simmer rings, eh, they're okay, but on an application like this, it would be virtually useless. Okay, I've told you about that wick. Now, uh, another thing, if you're going to bake, I highly recommend that if you put the uh, wick in here and tuck it down as low as it can go to get the heat way down, that you don't bake it all the way through with heat on it. I would bake to about 22, 23 minutes, blow out the heat, leave the lid on, and then let the cake, which is already hot, the pan's hot and everything, continue to cook for another 10 minutes. Just walk away for 10 minutes. And that will continue to cook and finish cooking uh, without burning. If you try to bring it all the way up to a brown top and done right to the very center with flames on it, there's a good chance you may scorch the bottom a little bit. So what I do is I just blow the heat out at, at like 22 minutes, easy to remember, 22 and uh, if, if I look in, the top is all fluffed up and it's brown around the edges, just blow the flame out, leave the top on, wait 10 minutes. And, and you'll come out with a better cake. The last one I did, right in the very center, a place maybe three quarters of an inch, right in the center, wasn't quite done. And I didn't let it set for 10 minutes the way I usually do because, to be perfectly honest, I forgot. Now, I'm getting emails from people, a few emails from people, who aren't familiar with the site and want to bake, but they're not sure that they know everything uh, that they're going to need to bake. 
They're afraid they're going to forget something. So they've asked me to put together a bake kit for them. And I've, I've done that for a few people. If you want a bake kit, uh, email me and I can put that together for you. So I've got one all put together here. Let's take it apart and just see what's in a bake kit. And if I forgot anything, let me know. So let's go look at that. Okay, I've got kits here. And I'm, here's a big kit that's all, all done. Okay, what do you get? Okay, you get your 12 centimeter lid and your 12 centimeter I'm used to cup. That's your main oven. Okay, and I've got everything is in here and I'll, that's another story. There's two spare wicks so you can uh, change your stove heat later. Uh, there's a Bongo Original uh, SS Remote. The Bongo Original has a two foot fuel line. An SS Remote. A handle wrap for your 12 centimeter oven. A pot stand. And a baking ring to go on the bottom of your 12 centimeter oven. And a cut down pot. And a windscreen. And I believe that's everything you need to bake. Uh, you're going to have a pot up here. You're going to have that inside. You're going to have your cut down pot inside. You're going to have your windscreen. You're going to have your remote and your stove. And a lid. I believe that's everything to bake. Plus a handle wrap. And two extra wicks uh, to change your stove back for uh, full blown cooking. Now, this uh, what I wanted to tell you was... This pot stand is no longer a 5x23, uh, and I'll show you why. If you take the pot, the cut down pot, and wrap it in the windscreen, it just goes a second here. It, don't goof it up to you. Come on, do it right. It just goes back in the 12 centimeter perfectly. So that gets the windscreen out of the way. Now a 5x23 wouldn't fit in here correctly, so I took it down to like a 5x21. And then, let me get this straight now. Uh, if you put the baking ring on the outside of that, uh, that will go into the 10 centimeter nicely. Uh, this handle wrap is going to be on the handle. Uh, these two carbon felt will go on the bottom if you, if you want to. And then your, your uh, SS remote and your bongo will go in there, heck your hand wrap will even go in there, and the lid will go on. Now you've got everything there to get back here so you can see me. Uh, now you've got, in this one kit, you've got everything to bake, and if you put the other wick in the bongo and use it for a primary stove, uh, you've got everything to cook also. So this is a complete cook, cook and baking kit all in one. Uh, the downside of that is when you add up uh, the SS remote and the bongo and the lid and the pot and everything else, it comes to about 85 bucks, which is not cheap. But it is a complete cooking system, and if you want one, uh, email me and I can uh, build one up for you. Uh, it's the least I can do. There's not a lot of people. I got like three people that asked for that uh, yesterday. I imagine there will be a few more trickling, but... I don't think it's a big enough item uh, for me to put in the store. And second off, most people that follow my videos already have most of this stuff. And the only problem I have is, I, if I have to build this up from scratch, everything, they don't have any of this, they're probably not one of my people that watches my videos and follows my stoves. And I'm afraid they may not have enough alcohol stove skills to run this successfully. Uh, that's my only problem because for somebody that's never worked with an alcohol stove, a lot of technology and a lot of little tricks. But if you watch the videos and if you run into and do some experimental stuff uh, and uh, email me, I can usually get you on the right track. So let me see. It's uh, in the 70s today, low 70s. Sun keeps coming in and going out. It's really humid. Uh, I went in, took a shower, put all brand new Walmart clothes on, put my wrist wrist strap on, a little color in the video. I really like these. Looks good against my tanned arm, don't you think? <laughs> Got my hat on. Uh, and now I'm going to uh, 
trim some more of these pots and make some more baking kits up. And I'll probably go wander through Walmart today. Sue wanted a, a pillow, a, a new pillow or a, yeah, I think she got the pillow last time. Now she wants a uh, pillow topper for a mattress. Walmart sells one that's made with cool gel. So, uh, we'll probably go do that. Uh, I think that's everything for this video. But you know, every time when I finish a video, just as soon as I shut the camera off, I think, oh man, I should have mentioned this or that. So, might be another Captain's Log supplemental after I shut this off this time. I'm Tinny from Mini Bull Design. Get on hike! Take a friend, enjoy the great outdoors, and more important than anything, try to have some fun today, and try to have a really great day. Bye-bye! I knew there was something I forgot. Sue is working on a project here. She's got an antique uh, soda cooler, or picnic cooler. Uh, she got it to dump, which is in real good shape, and she's sanded here for two or three days. And taped it off and we're going to paint it and restore it. Uh, because other than paint, it was in really good shape. So that's what she's doing with that. Okay, also, uh, when we were at the transfer station slash dump, <laughs> uh, we picked up this in the metal pile. Uh, this is a stainless steel tea kettle. Uh, and if you look on the bottom of it, uh, it has a, a laminated bottom that's like stainless steel and then copper and then something else to conduct heat uh, better than normal and a real wide bottom. All stainless steel, beautiful piece. Uh, and as far as we can tell, not a dent in it or anything, doesn't leak, uh, has had very little use. Uh, I think it's made by, uh, I'm not sure about the name, Alessio. Uh, and if it is, it's like a $150 tea kettle. Uh, why that was on the metal pile, God himself knows. But we've got it now, and it's, it's a really nice tea kettle. Uh, we really like it. <laughs> cool beans.